Charlotte Christian. I'm Grace Baker. I'm Isabel Galetto. And these are your daily announcements for April 8th, 2016. Students that park in the upper parking lot, just a reminder that you guys are not allowed to park in front of the administrative building or the media center. Those spots are reserved only for faculty and visitors, and you guys are required to park facing Sardis Road North. The National Art Honor Society and the Art Club will be drawing a graffiti-style mural in the lower school stairwell from 9 to 12. So go ahead and join them, and it's a good way to get some service hours. Next Thursday at Chapel, please remember to bring peanut butter and jelly jars for the 10th annual Fill the Truck for the Harvest Center. Voting is underway for the Congressional Art Competition. This year, Charlotte Christian has 23 pieces of art competing. So if you'd like to get involved, go to Robert Pittenger's Facebook page and like our students' art. Voting ends April 12th and go Knights. Attention all students who are interested in doing Cell Group next year. Please go online, access an application for Cell Group, and turn it into Mr. Cummings by May 19th. And if you are a current Cell Group leader who's interested in doing it again next year, please go talk to Mr. Cummings to make sure that you do or don't have to fill out an application. Today, during lunch, there's going to be a Health Careers Club meeting in the biology room. Today's speaker is going to be Dr. Dennis. He is an EMT, so that's awesome. So if you want to sign up for a field trip, then you should go to this meeting. Health Careers Club, let's go. And here's today's lunch menu. Roasted butternut soup. Squash and bacon bits. Roasted chicken sandwich. Roasted portobello sandwich. Potato salad. Sauteed Swiss chard. And roasted green beans. And an Italian rice bowl. <laughs> yeah. Sounds delicious. Happy birthday to Elizabeth Sockelman, Adam Lewis, and, and Mr. Mr. Hop! Happy, Happy birthday! Woo! And here are today's athletic events. At 4 p.m. we have girls varsity softball home against Metrolina, so please dismiss team at 2.50. And at 7 p.m. we have boys varsity baseball home against Charlotte Lynn. Come join the left field loonies. Go, Go Knights! And that's all we have for today, Charlotte Christian. Enjoy, Enjoy the, the show! show. This last March, we saw it all. The cheers. Oh, good night. The cries. The buzzer beaters. Half court heave for the win. Mid court. Jenkins gives it to Jenkins for the championship. And the upsets. Middle Tennessee wide to the lane, give it up. Upshot, throw down, and the foul. Next year. There's always next year. But this April, we have something new for you that no one else has ever seen. A totally new experience. Coming this next week, we're proud to announce the first ever CIS AA Rock, Paper, Paper Scissors, Scissors Tournament. But how does that work, James? Let's find out. So here are the rules. We've already selected four members from each of the classes to represent the grade. It's best two out of three, so no cheating. And it's a bracketed style tournament, so it's win or go home. We've created the brackets, now it's up to you all to fill them out. And also, the representative who wins the tournament will win extra credit in Bible for the entire grade. So tune in next week for our first round ever of April Madness. Oh no, I mean, I'm not that excited about it. I think it, you know. <laughs> Are you guys talking about Godspell? No, we're talking about eating clamshells. I'm a big fan of. Oh, Alexander, Alexander Graham, Graham Bell. Bell. Oh my god. Are you talking about Godspell? No. No. We're talking Alexander Graham Bell. Oh, oh, shit. On the Are you mind. guys talking about Godspell? No, Brad. We're lifting dumbbells. Of course. <laughs> Just believe! Oh, my goodness! Got it, but not not a big fan. Are you guys talking about God spell? No, Brad, we're talking about dog smell. Oh, that sounds really similar. Are you guys talking about God spell? No, Brad! Oh. What the heck? Well then, what were you talking about? <laughs> but I was just drinking water! Are you guys talking about Godspell? No, Brad. We're talking about the great compromiser, Henry Clay. 
That sounds nothing like God's spell. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go like that. I'm gonna go. That's not bad. You guys aren't talking about God's spell, are you? No, Brad. We are. Don't you forget about me. Hello, this is Luke Irwin. Today is a very special occasion for me. I will be consuming cookout from uh, the cookout on North Sardis Road in Matthews, North Carolina. Let's get into it. As we can see, the cookout tray is extremely modest. It encapsulates the aroma of the food and makes sure that all the food smells are kept within the tray so that you can open it up and things will smell great. It's very flexible and it can be fit into small compartments that you didn't think you could fit things in. It's also very sturdy, protects against water damage and UV radiation, which is important because I don't want my food getting sunburnt. I think it's very stylish comes in a beautiful matte white and it guarantees that your food will never go out of style. Let's get a closer look. As we open the tray, there they are. The golden fries and the crispy hush puppies. These two foods will knock you off your feet. Nothing makes me happier than a good hush puppy. Sometimes my friends will say, Luke, the hush puppies aren't that great. I say, no you're not that great, and they immediately apologize for saying bad things about the food. They act also as a perfect complement to the crown jewel, the cheeseburger. Here we are, the crown jewel. As you can see, it's wrapped in a chic chrome foiling. Really love what the folks at Cookout did with this one. As we open, the burger, you see that the cheese is perfectly melted with the patty and the bun. It looks really amazing in the light and I highly recommend it to anyone who wants to eat it. Let's get into it. To wash down the pipes, we have the cookies and cream milkshake. It's by far one of the more popular milkshakes at cookout. It's one of my favorites. I would eat it or drink it in a nice steakhouse dinner every night if I could. However, my wife tells me that I probably should not do that because I have really bad cholesterol. I can't tell whether to drink it with a straw or to eat it with a spoon. It's pretty much like trying to crack the Da Vinci Code. I would definitely recommend Cookout to a friend. It is the perfect place for dates and not dates alike. If you can't get your friends to go with you, they have a wonderful drive through service. Everyone there is super cheery and would love to help you. I'm really not steering you wrong with this one. This is coming from a man who's been to a lot of places and done a lot of things. And this is by far one of my favorite places to eat. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jeff. What's yours? I'm Welch's Concord Grape. Can we be friends? Sure.
go, there you go. Peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly. Do the peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly. Walk up and fall back. Do the peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly. Wait, hold on, wait, stop. <gasps> Scene. Engage. Yeah, y'all need to engage. What do you mean? So, oh, I forgot my line. <coughs> Last March. Wait, I was smiling, sorry. God forbid that you look happy. I get breathe. Let's do it. This week on Night's News, we had a little too much show and it ran over. So if you want to see Claire Hilton's 10 year Night's News anniversary video, please click right there. Right, right there. Yeah, click right there. You can do it.